hard as a Rottweiler's mouth can bite. So she's got very, very strong feet to catch those scones. How many of you think she looks snuggly? She looks snuggly. The only problem with that is, most owls, if you go up and try and touch them, what are they going to do to you? What does one raptor mean? Grab. They're going to use those feet and they're going to say, get away from me. Now, if I have a bird that can go back and live outside, I have to let it go. Okay? I can't keep it. You can't keep it. We can't have them. If they can live outside, we have to let it go. What's wrong with her then? Why can't I let her go? Well, she is, but I, I couldn't use her for programs if she could be let go. So why can't I let her go? What's wrong with her? Let me ask you this. When she looks around at all of you, does she seem scared of you? She seems scared of me? That's the problem. She's not afraid. Somebody found her when she was a baby bird on the ground, and they thought they should help her, so they took her inside and they fed her. And they taught her, when you're hungry, just ask a human. And she'll never unlearn that. So even though there's nothing wrong with her, we can't let her go, because she's not afraid of humans. Okay? Uh-oh, she's moving! Whisper woke up! <coughs> Alright, so we can't let her go because she's she's not afraid of us. Okay? That's what's wrong with her. And I mean she should be wanting to bite my finger off. She doesn't. Okay? So she if you find an owl outside, don't ever go near it because it's gonna be very scared of you and it's gonna want to get away from you, right? And it can certainly hurt you. This girl is totally weird in that regard. Her head is messed up. Feather?